EA Sports. It's in the game. This video is sponsored by EA Game Changer. We're at the home of the Super Bowl 52 champions, Lincoln Financial Field in Philadelphia, PA. The scene in South Philly a few moments ago. Boy, the city of brotherly love is fired up. They're saying fly, Eagles, fly, as they get ready to match up with Tom Brady and the New England Patriots.
Elliott now to kick this one away. And that drives coaches insane, doesn't it? When they see that happen, it just, it just doesn't feel right, does it? Plus, you're giving up yardage. They were trying to create some space to run. On, they created the penalty. Go. And you work on it so much. You work on it so hard. But it's tough to simulate game speed in practice. And that often runs you into a penalty. Now they need 15 yards on this series after the delay of game. First and 15. Now Brady on the bootleg. Under a heavy and down he goes. Nigel Bradham flying in and laying the lumber defensively. Brandon, if I'm an offensive coordinator and I see an all-out rush like that, I file it away because I'm going to use their aggressiveness against them as this game goes on. I'm going to hit up on the screen soon. Now this one over the middle into the hands of his tight end complete. The reception good for seven. It's third down. Not a big window to throw. Coverage wasn't too bad there. Yeah, they had him under wraps pretty well, but somehow able to muscle his way open and catch the ball. Well, certainly not the start they were looking for here as they come up on a third and 14. Here's Brady to throw. And that is incomplete. Oh, he had a defender right there with him to force that to the ground. And fourth down now coming up. So the defense able to get off the field here on third down. And it's one of the goals of the game. They've got to be effective on passing downs. It's one of the few things defenses chart. How did we do on third down? That's a nice start for them in this one. Officially, that'll be marked down as just a 28-yard punt. And the Eagles will have it taking over first and 10. Wentz and the Eagles now with a first and 10 at their own 37. Now flags will come in. I think this one's going to be on the defense for jumping. So it wasn't the line that jumped that time, the second level. No, that's a great observation because most of the time it's those guys up front so eager to get off on the snap. They do it, but in this case, you're exactly right. Second level, probably because they moved up to the first level, and that hurts them. They go counter with Howard. And he'll be brought down, losing yardage back at the 40. A loss of two there, second down. And the big fella stuffed that one up in a big way. I think doubling him has to be a priority because you can't move up to the next level if you don't take care of him first. This is Howard on second down. He'll take this from the 40 up to the 45 for a gain of five. A quick burst there, and he nicely bit off a pretty decent game. They'll try to run for it with Howard. And this one's going to go the wrong way. Losing yardage back at the 42. It's a loss of a full three yards, and it brings up fourth down. Here we go on fourth down with Wentz. And it is incomplete. Boy, a curious decision to go for it. Doesn't pan out, and it'll be a turnover on downs. Out comes the New England offense to see what they can do this time. And on the first drive, three and out. I know that these are professional athletes, but I would imagine sometimes you, you get the nerves at the beginning of a game still, don't you? Those don't ever go away. And typically, what I've heard from guys and what I remember from playing, if you don't have nerves at the start of a game, it's not going to be a great day for you. You're not really ready to play. So finding a way to harness those nerves and not let them affect you in a negative way, that's what all the guys... And it's intercepted at the goal line. Picked off by Ronald Darby. And they'll have the football, but deep in their own territory as he's brought down at the five. 
Brandon, this is why golfers do their best to never count a score in their head before the ball goes in the cup. This looked like a slam dunk for points on this drive, didn't it? Instead, they throw an interception, and they're going to come away empty. It's a loss of a yard there, and it's second down. I know when I was a kid, I always got real excited when I saw those lateral-type runs. But the best backs that made it happen, they put a foot in the ground and just go. That didn't happen there. That play got swallowed up. The tackle was made by Michael Bennett. All right, Brad, I know we're in the early going here, but those kind of runs, they're going to open up a world of opportunities for this offense going forward. And he connects with Ertz. And he works it across the 25 before being tackled. And yeah, that one was relatively easy to see. I noticed that from up here. Yeah, it doesn't take a whole lot, does it? Sometimes you get multiples. What I always love on these offsides is when each side points at the other. Hey, you did it. No, you did it. They deciphered that one correctly. They only need a yard here. Third down and one after the penalty. Now wins. And that is incomplete. Not only was the call spot on, how about the execution of that defense right there? Zone was absolutely locked up tight. He was trying to... And they're going to fake it from deep in their own territory. And the gamble pays off. They get the first. So they get the first down. Maybe not a huge play in terms of yardage, but the fake punt does the job. Now contact up front as penalty markers come in. Who is this against? A free five yards as the defense jumps. I know it's an anticipation game for them, but it's also a reaction game, and they reacted poorly on that one. So a first and five now after the five-yard penalty from the neutral zone infraction. They run the counter. Howard looking for a seam but finding none. He'll get back to the lot of scrimmage, and that's it. No gain there on first and five, and it leaves them with a more standard second down. Try the right side with Howard. And he will lose yardage and be backed up to the 24. No score after one on EA Sports. Now second quarter action from Philadelphia, and it's the Eagles in possession. They're looking at a third and six here to start things out. He didn't seem in a rush. I guess they just didn't know where the play clock was. I think you're right about that because there was no hurried movements there, right? No up-tempo at all. Clock just ran out. I think he was as surprised as maybe his bench was. After the delay, they're backed up even further for third and long. Working from the gun, Wentz. And complete to Zach Ertz. And he'll get this up to the 34-yard line. And Eagle first down there, Wentz to Ertz, and the names that end in TZ. From the 34 now, here's first and 10. Now Wentz, I think this is going to be a free play. And this one drops incomplete, but I think the defense jumped. Well, we looked at each other right when he flinched. We knew that that flag was coming. Yeah, offsides, easy call. Mark off the five and keep it moving. Following the penalty, it's first and five, and you got to think offensively, all kinds of options. From the gun, it's wins. An interception made by Alshon Jeffrey. And able to rip off a big chunk of yardage before being dropped inside the 40. A well-executed 22-yard game. Flag comes in. This might be a free play. And that'll be incomplete. We do have a penalty flag down, however. Let's see what that's about. So they will accept the penalty and move forward. Now they'll try to take advantage of that offsides call. Here's first and five. Wentz now to throw. 
And that is incomplete. He couldn't hold on through the contact. Brings up second down. Well, he'd been targeted quite a bit on this drive. And finally, I think the guys on the defensive side, they said no more. They slapped the double coverage on him. Made it very tough for him to get the ball. Second and five now. Wentz. And this will be incomplete. Physical play on the football there, and it's second down. You get a tight end like this, and you know he's used to dishing out punishment, but here he's one that has to absorb the contact, and as a result, unable to hold on to the football. Throwing now is Wentz. It's over the middle. And he'll get this one down to about the 20-yard line. An eagle first down, Wentz to Ertz. A lot of tight ends just use their size and their strength, try to occupy some space and kind of body people away and catch the football. But not this guy. He's a refined route runner. Makes me wonder if he took some dance classes in his background with his footwork. Now a throw to the end zone on first down, but it winds up incomplete. He was trying to get it to Zach Ertz that time. That'll bring up second down. That was a dangerous throw towards the end zone. Boy, did it hang up there forever. Wanted to run up there and pull it down out of the sky. And oh, it'll be intercepted. Devin McCourty puts it off. And a big turnover there as his guys will get the football back. Oh, man, Brandon, not a real good throw that time. It looked like he tried to put a little too much air under this one, and it turned into a floater. And defensively, this is a dream. He could have picked the Red Sea parts, and there he goes. And they work this well upfield across the 45. A good pick up there, 26 yards. There are so many things to watch for when you play defense and reading your keys. You always hear about that and having your eyes in the right place. Sometimes your eyes can fool you. How about that play action there? That sprang the big guy, didn't it? Able to dump it over the top to him. Now, meanwhile, the throw by Brady knocked away incomplete. Brady's incompletion on first down leads to a second and ten. Here we go, D. All day, defense. All day. All day. Alabama, Alabama. On play action. Now, Brady. Throwing over the middle, and it's incomplete. Defensively, Charles, they continue to really limit this offense as far as yardage goes. Yeah, you're exactly right. They've been assignment sound, staying in their lanes, keeping proper leverage, and communicating well, too. To throw is Brady. And that will be incomplete as well. So it doesn't look like they're going to be able to build off the turnover. Well, the defense certainly did its part. It got them the football. But you're exactly right. It looks like they're going to have to punt this one away. And it's not a turnover, but doesn't it feel like one after grabbing the momentum with the defensive play? Yeah, and they had all that momentum after getting the football, and now zapped right. And look at this. It's a fake. And this is incomplete. A huge gamble, and it does not pay off. It was the veteran safety, Malcolm Jenkins, who got a hand in there to disrupt it. First down, they run with Howard. And he still has yet to get on track in this first half as they're going to stop him behind the line. Call it a full three yards in the wrong direction there. Brings up second down. A three-yard loss to start the drive. They'll look to make that up and then some on second and 13. He's going to let this go deep for Jackson. And that will be incomplete. Try to dial up the long way way out there, but it'll be third down. The positioning here is key. As a defensive back, you're taught 99% of the time, make a play on the football. But in this case, making a play on the man was all the difference. That's what forced the incompletion. An incomplete pass on that last play, and that means they'll need to come up with something here on third down. Looking for Jeffrey, and it's intercepted. Picked off by J.C. Jackson. And they will finally get him as he's all the way down near the 40-yard line. So that's back-to-back -back drives where they've thrown an interception. Ordinarily, we look at the offense and say, what's going on with your scheme? Maybe we should look at the defense and just give them a whole lot of credit. They've got them frustrated right now. Well, that throw by Brady incomplete. Those passes out that far wide always make you hold your breath a little bit. Felt like it was in the air for a while. What it does is it allows a defender to gain some ground, come from a long distance, and have a chance to affect the pass. Going deep here for Adam. And is this intercepted? It is. It's intercepted. Picked off by Ronald Darby. And he will take this all the way up past the 40-yard line. 
Edelman, the intended receiver that time. And that's now the second time he's picked off a pass here in the first half alone. Again, another great read defensively. And you just see him get in the right position to make the play and get his guys the football back. And he'll take this for about four up to the 46-yard line. So that one will be accepted. So this helps to start a drive. After the penalty, it'll be first and five. We got three. We got three, fellas. We got three. Shotgun now for Wentz. He's got Dallas Goddard, his tight end over the middle. And a gain of four gets him right to the midfield stripe. That throw good for four. It's second down. From midfield, here's Wentz. The connection here with Nelson Aguilar. And he'll be taken down at the 44-yard line. Now it's the all-purpose back. This is Darren Sproles. That's going to go as a loss of a yard, and it'll be second down. Another scouting report on him is that he doesn't possess the eye discipline to be an elite linebacker. And what that means is his ability to read, react, and make a play. But on that one, he looked like one of those guys. A second down pass play there, but it's incomplete. And once more, he was looking for Alshon Jeffrey. Third down here. Flag comes in. This might be a free play. And for the third time here in this half, it's intercepted. Picked off by Stephon Gilmore. And a big turnover there as his guys will get the football back. And they still need six yards here on third down after the penalty. To throw is Wentz. And for the third time here in this half, it's intercepted. Picked off by Patrick Chung. And the return stops at the 39-yard line. If you're a lover of offense, this has not been the half for you thus far. Luckily for me, though, I'm sitting next to a lover of defense, and we have had plenty of that, including that interception. Yeah, and I mean, that still makes it a great game, doesn't it? Everybody talks about if the ball's not in the end zone and points going up on the board, it's not as much fun. I love these defensive battles. Something's got to give with these turnovers. Who can convert them into points? This defense has been very disruptive early on as they force another one to go awry. Seems to be the front and the back end. Pass rush, they've been able to get home, and they're taking the ball away in coverage as well. I love how you put it together. The front and back working in sync, only way to play good. And Brady going to be intercepted a third time. Picked off by Rodney McLeod. And his guys have got it back at the closing stages of the first half. He couldn't get the hook up there that time with Thomas. And just 18 seconds remain till halftime as they come up on first and 10. And they'll indeed start on the ground to run that clock. Showed some solid running, strong running, and then he's corralled just beyond the 10. Jonathan Jones there to make the stop. And this will probably be the last play of the quarter. So two quarters down, two remain. Charles and I return after the break. And we welcome you back live now inside the booth alongside Charles Davis. I'm Brandon Gordon, set and ready to rock for the third quarter. So no scoring in our first half. What will the second half bring as we are now back underway? And the kickoff sails out of bounds, and that's going to be a penalty. You can see the looks on the faces of the rest of the team. You have one job to do. Just kick the ball and play. Well, that's exactly right, Charles. The kicker, and this is just inexcusable. Absolutely inexcusable. Everyone out there slugging it out for the entire game. Execute your job. A full five-yard loss that time. It's going to make second down pretty tough. Here we go. Pac-Man. You got nothing to you got nothing. <laughs> On second and 15 now, Wentz. And his throw is incomplete. The safety, Patrick Chung, got a hand in, knocked it away. We've seen these defenses make enough opportunistic plays to keep this one low scoring. Flying around, making plays on the ball, and we see yet another errant throw as a result. Here's Wentz to throw. He'll rifle this one deep right side. 
And his pass is intercepted for the fourth time today. Picked off by Patrick Chung. First possession of the third quarter, an interception, so maybe a second-half tone setter. Indeed, and not the tone they wanted to set. That's the equivalent of running out the wrong door and running into your pool instead of running out onto the field. A real dud for that one. Has that happened to you before? No, but... And that's caught inside the 35. Brady and Edelman hook up for a big one. 53 yards. Well, even after all those interceptions, he's not deterred, still confident to go deep at work there. I think all the old rules about playing that position still apply. If things go wrong, you still act like you're the best player. And his pass is intercepted for the fourth time today. Picked off by Sidney Jones. And he'll get it all the way down inside the 35-yard line. You hear me laughing, partner, and I'm not laughing at the situation, but sometimes you just get yourself into a rut. It's hard to shake yourself out of it. So after the INT, here's Wentz. And that is incomplete. Took a shot there on first down, but he couldn't reel it in. Anytime a defense can sit back in a zone like that, it tends to create a lot of congestion in the middle of the field. Makes it very hard to slot one in. Looked like I-4 rush hour in your hometown of Orlando, Florida. An absolute mess. Another throw on second down, and this one incomplete as well. We saw this a lot in the first half, and it continues. These receivers just not able to get much separation. So that means they have to win the 50-50 balls. They've got to go up with the defender and find a way to start coming down with them. And this time, contact and another incomplete pass. So they'll get 10 there, but it leaves them just short for fourth down. The field goal unit's going to stay put on the sideline. They're going to go on fourth down here. They didn't get the first down, but I have to say I do like the call. I like what they were trying to do. Try and hit your receiver on the run and see if he can pick it up. Keep it on his feet, get a little rack yardage. Yeah, but a nice job defensively to get to him and keep him short of the first. Brady and the Patriots now first and 10 at their own 25-yard line. Trying to shake off the interception. He'll look to throw. And that'll be knocked away. It's incomplete. Julian Edelman, the intended receiver. But it's going to be second down. It's always a battle. Who's going to win on first down? The offense or the defense? Let's face it. If you've got the ball, four yards or more on first down is what you're aiming for. They tried to throw for it there. Nice effort to knock that one away and bring up second. And now here is another interception. Picked off by the linebacker, Zach Brown. He was looking for Edelman there. The interception woes, they just continue to mount. He's thrown five picks. At this point, you got to be thinking, is it something between the ears? I think a confidence hit does occur once you start getting those numbers up there a little bit. But as you and I both know, it's not always just one guy's fault. Maybe somebody ran a wrong pattern. Maybe some balls were tipped. It could be so many different things. Bottom line, though, it comes back to the guy throwing them. Now a fake on the give here as they try the run pass option. And it's incomplete, broken up. But there is a flag down. Let's see what that's about. So this will be accepted as it moves the offense backwards. So they'll come up after the incompletion for second down. On the give, running right is Howard. And he'll lose yardage on the play back at the 45-yard line. They call that a loss of six yards. And it's third down now. The Eagles on third down. They've struggled to the tune of two for eight so far. This is going to be third and 13. Here's Sproles. Call it a gain of five. Fourth down now. Frustrating for a defense, energizing for an offense. Finding a way to create that type of yardage in your running game, that'll make the guys carrying the ball. And they're going to try this again. It's another fake. And this doesn't end well at all as they stop him far behind the line to gain. The tackle made by a Landon Roberts. It's such a risky play there to fake it. You're either the hero or the GOAT. Here they're going to be the GOAT. Unfortunate, too, because you know they thought they had something there. They don't call it just a call. They don't just say, oh, what the heck, let's go ahead and fake it here. They feel like they've got something. That's caught inside the 20. And he takes it down deep into enemy territory. A big play there for New England. 47 yards. Might we see our first touchdown of the game. Here's first and goal. 
Now Brady. As a man, and it's Edelman for the Patriot touchdown. Four yards on the touchdown grab, and the Pats able to cash in for six. Well, these two teams battled through a scoreless first half. Finally, a breakthrough here in quarter number three. And I just wonder how that played for both of them psychologically, because when you battle through a scoreless first half, now you know that every possession is increasingly crucial. Who can put points on the board, make the other team chase? Wonder if you get a lift and if they get deflated a little bit. That'll be taken in the end zone. And he will be brought down here at about the 17-yard line. Winston, the Eagles now with a first and 10 at their own 17-yard line. Throwing his wins. Caught by the tight end, Ertz. And he's got it past the 30 before he's hit and dropped. They may want to go back to that one. First play of the drive, good for 15 and a first down. Wentz now a perfect 8 for 8 to start the second half. Not bad. First and 10. And they're going to get him behind the line yet again as his nightmare afternoon continues. Now that sends him two yards in the wrong direction and leads to second down. On second and 12, Wentz. And that's going to be incomplete. Too tough to hold on to that one. It's second down. We have not seen a whole lot of wide open receivers. Everything seemingly has been contested. And that's another nice job there to force an incompletion. They've been very cohesive, knowing each other's moves all game long. And they've been on the spot just about every time. And they've held them in check on the scoreboard. I think we can safely say that those types of players are the backbone of this offense. We know not every run's going to be a big hitter, but you know they'll take that type of result on each and every attempt. And as they come to the line, they will not be able to get off another play as time has run out on this third quarter. This is the National Football League on EA Sports. Brady now on first down. Wide open, Julian Edelman. And they're going to get this beyond the 40 before he's taken down. Fresh out of the locker room, they hit him with a gain of over 20. I got the sense that the defense created a little momentum for him there, didn't it? Did their job, forced the punt. Now, nice start to the drive. Offense has to do their part. Yeah, they certainly do, but what a great start for them. Pressure comes, and down he goes. The Eagles get there for the sack. Brandon Graham applied the heat off the edge. Defensive end gets in there that time. They were in a 4-3. What's the responsibility of the ends versus the tackles there, Charles? Well, most of the time. In the and he's going to go down, but a penalty marker, too, and they might very well have jumped the snap there. On second down, here's Brady. Looking deep for Demarius. And look at this. They get the turnover they needed. It's intercepted. Picked off by Malcolm Jenkins. And he'll return this one just shy of midfield to the 49. Thomas, the intended target. What a nightmarish game he's having now. Six interceptions that he has thrown. Absolutely unbelievable, isn't it? And hit behind the line. He lost the football. It's loose. But fortunately, he's able to recover his own fumble, or that could have been trouble. And that one was relatively easy to see. I noticed that from up here. Yeah, it doesn't take a whole lot, does it? Sometimes you get multiples. What I always love on these offsides is when each side points at the other. Hey, you did it. No, you did it. They deciphered that one correctly. Flag comes in. This might be a free play. And he'll go out of bounds after taking it a little further down inside the 40. Well, we looked at each other right when he flinched. We knew that that flag was coming. Yeah, offsides, easy call, mark off the five, and keep it moving. So the yellow flag came out, and that leads to a new set of downs for this offense, first and ten. Check, 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 check. Flag comes in. This might be a free play. Now he'll dump it underneath to it.
We are at the home of the Super Bowl 52 champions, Lincoln Financial Field in Philadelphia, PA. Just a short time ago, these Philly fans in full roar as both teams made their way out of the tunnel. Pyrotechnics ablaze. They're set to go as their Eagles will match up with Tom Brady and the New England Patriots. Goskowski now out to kick it away. We got this. Done. Come on, baby. Let's see what you got. Wentz now on first down. And incomplete to open things up. It is tough to complete pass against zone defenses. The windows that you see open, they shrink pretty rapidly. How about being able to hit a moving target against a zone before the next guy can get there and make a play on the ball? Not easy for any quarterback, no matter the situation. And there, the defense won the battle. An incomplete pass leads to second and 10 from the 25. Wins. Jeffrey reels it in over the middle. And they'll get it all the way up about five yards shy of midfield. That one, a gain of 20 and a first down. First down. First down, Jack. You don't want none, baby. You don't want none. Hey, hey, you don't want to see me. Flag comes in. This might be a free play. And a double coverage, and it's intercepted. Picked off by Patrick Chung. And his crew will take over at their own 45-yard line. Following the penalty, it's first and five, and you got to think offensively, all kinds of options. From the midfield strike, they'll look to throw. And the coverage terrific there as that's knocked down and incomplete. The safety, Patrick Chung, got a hand in, knocked it away. There are a good number of coaches at any time they call an in route are really worried about the play because there's so much traffic ordinarily that the ball has to get through to get to the receiver. And on that play, it was batted down. So they'll come up after the incompletion for second down. Now Wentz. He finds Aguilar over the middle. And this time he's able to take it down to the 42. That one, a first down pickup of eight. And now whistles and a flag. And I think we got a jump here. And an encroachment penalty here will cost them five yards. And it makes it so simple, doesn't it? An easy free five yards for the offense given to them by the defense. After the penalty, a fresh set of downs. It's first and ten. There's a throw over the middle. It's taken in by his tight end. And he's going to get this inside the 30. And that one was relatively easy to see. I noticed that from up here. Yeah, it doesn't take a whole lot, does it? Sometimes you get multiples. What I always love on these offsides is when each side points at the other. Hey, you did it. No, you did it. They deciphered that one correctly. Well, they didn't really have to earn that first down, did they? Well, they're not having to earn much, are they? Back-to-back -back penalties. First was first and five, and now they give them a first down. So the face mask, quite a blessing there as they'll start out of harm's way with a first and ten. Wentz off the fake handoff to Howard. And that is incomplete. Showed off the arm strength there, but to no avail. Second down. Trying to get that one to his tight end, and they've been trying to get the ball to him, but as of yet, unable to successfully complete one. But you know there's usually a nice comfort zone in throwing to the tight end. Great sight lines, usually right in the middle of the field. And taking it to the 15-yard line before he's brought down. It's a pickup of 17 and a first down. First down. First and 10 at the 15-yard line. The Eagles into the red zone for the first time. They've got a first and 10 at the 15. Now Wentz again. Into heavy traffic and it's intercepted. Devin McCourty picks it off. Pass the 10 to the 11-yard line, and that's where the return stops. 
as much football as we watch, we've seen this work many times. In the red zone, first down, take a shot at the end zone, and points result. In this case, though, give credit to the defense. They outguessed them, were prepared, and intercepted the pass. And he'll get this one up to about his 14. The corner, Ronald Darby, comes up to get him. They tried a quick hitter inside, but that one was swallowed up because what they're hoping, this big defensive lineman will take the bait and move laterally and open up a crease that they can run through. Didn't happen on that play. A one-yard gain there following the three-yard pickup on first down. The Eagles call on the extra defensive back here as they prepare for a stop on third down. They fake the handoff. Now Brady. He's got a first down and more past the 30. Finds his man, Watson, over the middle. Give him 15 yards on that one, and New England has a first down. So first and 10 now from the 30. Brady gives to Michelle. This will be stopped about two yards shy of the marker. Eight-yard gain, second and two. Well, you often say that sort of opens the playbook now, second and short. What do you think, early shot here? I like where you're going. Obviously, we've been together for a while because you know me. I want to take that shot early and loosen things up. And he'll lose yardage on the play back at the 37-yard line. We all have habits. We can be somewhat predictable. And you know me pretty well on second down and short. What I like to say? Play action. Yeah, without a doubt. I thought that was a great spot to call it. Instead, didn't go their way, did it? Now, defense sold out for the run. Worked out well. Brady's throw on third down there is incomplete. You hear the calls for a penalty, but I just don't think so. I think in this situation, the defender was making sure his guy couldn't hold on to the football. So I don't see anything to warrant to the flag. No, I'm with you. There was contact, but I'm happy they kept that flag in the back pocket. So certainly an interesting call there to go for it. And the Eagles are going to take over in great field position. Here's carry number one for Jordan Howard. Nothing doing. Barely able to muster a yard to hit the 35. I don't think any of us were surprised that they decided to start this drive on the ground after the last two drives ended in interceptions. Unfortunately, though, not a lot going on on that first play. Yeah, I think the anticipation was felt also by the defense. On second down now, it's Howard. They follow up the first down one-yard run with a minimal gain of two. And this is why aggressive defense coordinators love to blitz. It wreaks havoc because they end up taking their attention to the blitzers, freed up the D lineman to make the play. We're scoreless after one. Now second quarter action from Philadelphia, and it's the Eagles in possession. They're facing a tough spot, third and eight here to start things out. Now wins, and that will be incomplete. You can tell they were hoping for a flag there offensively. Several on the sideline motioning. Hey, why not a penalty? Why not a penalty? I, what did you see? Yeah, I think you've got to let them play, and the officials are instructed if there's contact coming from both sides, no flag. Let them fight it out. And forces fourth down. And that one will be no good. He never had it online. It's well wide to the left, and this will remain a scoreless game. So an empty possession there. What do you think went wrong, Charles? Well, it looked like maybe the plant leg might have given way just a little, and when that happens, guys have a tendency to pull through the ball to compensate, and in doing so, sent this one off target. Out comes the New England offense to see what they can do this time. And last time they were very fortunate this offense. They went for it for it, turned it over in their own territory. But the other guys held up. They didn't give up any points. So how about the guy with the number one headset on the sidelines, the head coach? That was planned going into it, not necessarily to not get the first down or to, to have the defense have to hold it up. He trusted his defense. Trusted his defense very much, and I think that that's how he's going to play this game. Go for it. Be aggressive because I've got the wild bunch backing me up over here on my own side. Now we'll see what his offense can do. The throw on second down by Brady is incomplete. And it is true. You can draft the fastest. You can draft the most athletic guys. But if they don't know the art of positioning, sometimes it's all for them. In this case, in the right spot, help force the incompletion. Had his hands on it for a second. Would have been a tough catch, though. Falls incomplete. 
They'll get 11, but still a little short. Fourth down. One of the money routes for any offense, the drag route. So tough to defend because the receiver can stop at any point and make himself available to the quarterback and get a completion. But I love the communication we saw there. All the defenders pointing out the receiver, where he was going, and then they're able to rally to the ball after the catch and stop him short of a first down. Here's the Philadelphia offensive unit now as they head out to take over possession. Last time out, they had that long 50-plus yard field goal that they missed. And I'm sure on their sideline, they're thinking to themselves, okay, do we still want to try one if we're in that position again? And I would dare say that the answer would be yes. They're going to have a lot of confidence in their kicker. But just to be on the safe side, I'm sure they told their offensive guys, can we get a little bit closer yeah, this time? Closer. Yeah, well, you know, I'd rather get in the end zone first and foremost. But if all else fails, less of a field goal attempt for him. And the running lane's non-existent in this first half as they'll stop him behind the line. So time to start going in the other direction as they come up now third and long. Working from the gun, Wentz. Hurts over the middle. They do get nine, but it leads to fourth down. That's certainly playing down in distance very well by the defense, isn't it? Take whatever you want underneath, by all means. On fourth down, out is the putter, Cameron Johnston, to boot it away. And they're going to fake it from deep in their own territory. And this is caught. And the fake will work. He's going to have a first down. A big breakdown defensively there on the fake punt. Turns into a huge play and a first down. So that changes things a bit. Here's a first and 10 all the way down at the 35. They fake the give. Now wins. And he goes down. It's a Patriots sack. Dante Hightower coming in for the sack from his linebacker spot. Now we talk about players blitzing all the time. I often lack and sometimes call it just straight ahead pursuit. What a running start right back to the backfield for him. Yeah, it really didn't give anybody a chance to get up there and stop it. No, I mean, that's really, really difficult. You're asking a whole lot anyway, but when he gets that kind of a start and comes through clean, oftentimes the advantage definitely goes to the defensive player. On is the punt team now as this one sent away. Out comes the New England offense to see what they can do this time. And three and out on the last drive. No points on the scoreboard. A little soul searching now? I would say so. And they need to help out their defense a little bit. They've had to be on the yeah, field a lot position. more than normal, put them in some tough spots. But what's the old adage? When you get another chance, it gives you a better chance to do it right. We remind you that coming up at halftime, we'll take you to Orlando and Jonathan Coachman. Coach will have highlights and analysis of this first half, one that's featured no touchdowns as of yet on either side. So his job's a little bit easier for this halftime. Need to give, the, need to give the coach some highlights here. Yes, we do. That one good for a first down pickup of 18 yards. So from the 36 now, first and 10. Now Brady. The ball popped in the air and intercepted. Picked up by the linebacker, Zach Brown. And to the 43. So down inside the 45 to the 43-yard line. That's where they'll take over. On first down, Wentz. And nowhere to fit that football in. It's knocked away and incomplete. The one thing that I've liked defensively is that they've shown them a lot of different looks here in the first half. They've come after them. They've sat back. I think that's what you need to do to keep your offense guessing. And they certainly have kept them on their toes. That's why they haven't had much success on the scoreboard. And past the 35, he'll be dropped a yard or two shy of the 30. 11 yards there, first down. Like so many tight ends nowadays, they have no problem at all putting him in the slot and letting him go to work. And that's a nice pitch and catch right there for a first down. And now a throw on first down there, but it's incomplete. This team is not going to make it easy for you. They're a physical group, and we just saw it there on that play. It came in, made the contact, just as he's trying to haul it in. Here's second and 10 now from about the 32. Again, it's wins. Now he'll dump it underneath to his running back, complete. 
five yards on the pickup. And just like that, it's third down. How about that shuffle pass? Or if you want to call it the shovel pass, that's fine too. That's one of those plays that you can take a little bit of risk there because you're trying to throw the ball into the middle of the field where a lot of big bodies lurk, and they can knock it away, pick it off, but they were able to execute it successfully on that play. And no move to get the offense off the field. They're going on fourth and five. Wentz to throw for it on four. And this is Ertz with it, right side. And he will have the first before he's brought down right on the chalk of the 20. They're able to keep the drive alive seven yards that time, and the decision to go for it proves to be a good one. Wentz now has hit on seven of 17 passes, just 41%, but it's first and 10. Throwing on first down, but this one winds up to be incomplete. Intended for Zach Ertz, incomplete. After the incompletion, here's second and ten from the 20. Wins to throw again. And he comes back with one complete. And he gets it inside the ten to the nine. So we've hit inter... We now proceed to the start of the second half. And we welcome you back now. Alongside Charles Davis, I'm Brandon Gunn, getting set for quarter number three here. After a rare scoreless first half, these teams now just looking for something as the second half gets underway. This will be fielded at the six. And a pretty good return here. He'll be stopped just shy of the 25 at the 24-yard line. So Brady and the Pats take over first and 10 at their own 24. They start the second half with Michelle on the ground. And he is met in his tracks behind the line of scrimmage. That's going to go as a loss of four, and it'll be second down. Hate to say it, but that play typifies what we've seen from this offense all game long. Yeah, don't you think maybe you flip over your play sheet as the offensive coordinator and see the side that says try something different? <laughs> you know, because this has not worked all game long. They continue to try and get it done. They've got to come up with something a little bit different. Try something special, something they haven't seen. Anything to score a point. They will face a second and nine now following the penalty. Following the penalty, Michelle. And not much to speak of. Call it a one-yard gain up to the 26. Early down stuff to put this offense in a precarious position. We know that securing the point of attack, especially against the big body guys in the middle of this D, has got to be priority one. On play action, it's Brady. Well, the two men come together, and it's incomplete. Excellent work defensively, brings up fourth down. Another drive comes and goes, still nothing on the scoreboard. Yeah, and when the second half comes, you know, it's real easy to get discouraged and wonder if you're ever going to get things started. You just got to fight through it. Got to keep pounding away. Fielded just inside the 20. Officially, that'll go as a 52-yard punt. Not too shabby. And the offense will take over with a new set of downs. They'll begin the drive with Howard. And he'll get this from the 25 to the 30 for a pickup of five. Partner, I think from our experience together, we have learned that most offensive coordinators are going to tell you, if I'm going to run the football on first down, I've got to get at least four yards. They got five here. They've got to feel pretty good about that one. Ball on the 30. They'll come up with a second and five. Again, it's Howard. That didn't appear to be a run blitz. He just started in once he saw the run develop. That appeared to be a case of see ball, get ball. Sproles. And they get him down, but not before he takes it across the 40-yard line. Well, we looked at each other right when he flinched. We knew that that flag was coming. Yeah, offsides, easy call. Mark off the five and keep it moving. So forget the three and out. The penalty makes this first and ten. Wentz going to throw. Looking for Aguilar, and it's intercepted. Picked off by Jason McCourty. 
And he will score. Touchdown, Patriots. Now, I don't know who all is to blame there, but I love seeing pick sixes. Nothing like seeing someone pluck it out of the air and go the other way and see people try to change directions. Hard to do. And this is no good. It's a missed extra point. Boy, in a tight game, how important might that turn out to be here as the second half rolls along? So they throw the pick six. They'll get another shot at it now as this one's in the air. This is fielded a couple yards deep. And the decision to bring it out is going to cost him about seven yards all told as he's taken down back shy of the 20. Winston, the Eagles now with a first and 10 at their own 18. Now a fake on the give here as they try the run pass option. And that is incomplete, but a penalty flag is down. This could possibly be a push off. Looked like some hands both ways. They got it on the offense. And sometimes there's a fine line between being the receiver and the DB, and he knocked that one away. Might have caused an incompletion that could have been an interception. Now wins. And he's going to be brought down. Back at his own six-yard line. Lawrence Guy able to collapse the pocket, get to him, and drop him for a loss of a yard. And the job becomes twice as difficult now. After the sack, it's second and 20. Running from the gun with Howard. And he's going to be taken down shy of the 10. the nine-yard line. The Eagles on third down. Not good. 0 for 4 thus far. This will be a tough third and 18. Now flags will come in. I think this one's going to be on the defense for jumping. And the penalty helps, but not a whole lot. It's still third and long. Now contact up front as penalty markers come in. Who is this against? So a jump there defensively. And it's a killer. Watch the football. Don't move across the line of scrimmage until the ball moves. The penalty helps a bit, but still eight yards to go on third down for this offense. Now a third down throw, but it misses the target incomplete. The beauty of being able to play a zone defense when you can sit back and see the ball coming out of the quarterback's hands, guess what? Creates a lot of confusion. Kind of a muddle in the middle of the field where you can go make a play on the football. And it's picked up by the Eagles. So not only do they get the fumble recovery on the punt, but now look at this field position. He almost took it the distance. And the ability to not just make the play, but turn it into something big, that's what coaches harp on all the time. How do we create 